and welcome to the MBS Show, episode 72. I'm your host, Norman Sanzo. Joining me today will be Daniel, but he'll be on later on. He's doing stuff right now. So our guest for this week is Stu. How are you, Stu? Hello, my dear man. So how have you been doing? How have you been doing? I haven't heard from you in a while. Stuff here and there, over there, yonder, and even the kitchen sink. Literally. Wow. What does it involve a kitchen sink? No, don't tell me. I don't know. <laughs> it involves money. You have to buy the sink, and then you have to install the sink. I've made on the purchasing so far. <laughs> okay, halfway there then. So, Stu, before we start, uh, we got to ask you the four important questions. And question number one is, who is your favorite character? That one is a toughie. Verily, verily, I don't have a specific favorite. They are all wonderful in their own ways. It is too hard to pick just one. No, there's just too many ponies to go through. Well, uh, we allow multiple choices. So if you have six favorite, you can name all six. Well, let's put it this way, my dear man. My wife's favorite is Pinkie Pie. Okay. That's about the best you're going to get out of me. (laughs) <laughs> okay, okay. Let me see your DeviantArt page. I'm seeing the first one is Applejack, so I'm going to say Applejack's your favorite then. Let's be looking at my gallery. Yep. <laughs> so, anyway, moving on. What's your favorite episode? I don't know exactly what I have to say my favorite favorite is, but one that's popping into mind is um, Dragon Shy, so we'll go with that. Oh, Dragon Shy. Dragon Shy, Dragon Shy. Dragon Shy is the one where Fluttershy gave the stare, right? Uh, it, it, that's the Stairmaster you're Ooh. thinking of. This one, she confronts a dragon. Ah, yeah. Still awesome, awesome. Not many people use that as their favorite. Mm. That's there, a rare one. There's a lot of good ones, but, you know. Yeah, true, true. There's a lot of good ones, but, well, if that pops into your mind, it has to be special then. So, moving on to my next question. How did you become a fan of the show? I have to blame LOL Cats for that. <laughs> okay. Long story short, one day I was bored, I decided I'm going to look up funny cat pictures. And then after going through the funny cat pictures, I went, hey, what else is here at this cheeseburger site going on here? And eventually I see the meany base, and then I see this, what the heck, my little brony? What the frick is this stuff? And I look at some of the pictures and stuff, I'm like, okay, okay, I'll go check out this thing. And then I realize, oh, this is pretty darn good. And that's the abbreviated version. Well, so you became a fan of the show through Lolcats then? Technically, yes. Of course, I haven't been to that site for a long time now. Huh. I should do that right now. <laughs> uh, that's right. I mean, hmm, I remember my visit to, well, not technically Lolcats, but um, if I remember right, it was uh, Know Your Meme. Yes. If I remember right, that's where I found the first episode. Huh, interesting. So, my last question is, what do family and friends think about your love for the show? My wife's good with it. Um, she... I, I don't know if she's a full-out brony like me. No. But, I mean, she does like it. She'll watch it with me. Um, I know my stepdad thinks I'm a freak for watching it. <laughs> okay. And he gets embarrassed being around me when I'm wearing a shirt. Okay. Yeah, there is a bit of a mixture, but... Um, I think most of my family realize I'm a weirdo as it is. So, <laughs> Aren't yeah. we all? Aren't we all? So anyway, thanks for answering the four basic questions. Now we can move on to the next topic. And the next topic yeah. is housekeeping. And in housekeeping, housekeeping. Well, throughout the month of July, I will we be asking questions, collect all four questions, and send your answer to us via email at the mbsshow at gmail.com and stand a chance to win the My Little Pony Elements of Harmony book. Question 2 was asked last week, so this would be question 3. Stay tuned for the questions. We'll ask it along the show. Maybe in the middle, maybe at the end. Or else. I don't know. <laughs> maybe at the bloopers. Who knows? Um, the first person to submit with all the four correct answers will be the winner. Good luck and have fun. So, I need to pimp the book out first because the Element of Harmony book, I said it the first week, I said it the second week, I'm going to say it the third week. It's good. Um, if you can't win it, go find a way to buy it because it's really good. Is it about Davey? 
Well, technically, it's an encyclopedia of the My Little Pony Friendship is Magic Season 1 to Season 3, behind-the-scenes story, concept art, songs, and, well, not really songs as in the MP3s, but mostly the lyrics. Yeah. So, if you have the chance, go buy it. Right. It contains a secret that technically, Derpy's real name is Ditsy Do. Who knows? Maybe. I haven't read... I haven't read the world all the way through. <laughs> Did you know that? Well, technically I do, but it's not canon, so hmm, who knows? Well, technically it is canon. <laughs> uh, maybe it's... I even asked the writer, and she said, yeah, that's her name. Ooh. Don't tell us which writer, maybe after the show. So anyway, let's move on to the next topic, and the next topic is news time. And in today's news time, let's karaoke pony songs. Do you ever enjoy going and singing at karaoke clubs and find it depressing that they don't have that one song from DB Pony, Mando Pony, or Black Griffin? Well, if you do, sorry to hear that. But we have the best next thing. The My Little Karaoke team has finally finished their second incarnation of the game, and it boasts a lot of impressive things. For example, more than 150 songs from the show and the community, up to six simultaneous plays, meaning six multiplayers, six person can sing, I don't know how that works, instrumental tracks, high quality video, works on Windows, Macs, and Linux. Links can be found in the show notes. So Stu, what do you think? Karaoke, do you enjoy it or do you say karaoke? I, I don't know. Actually, it's funny that you mentioned this, because a certain some pony that goes by Twin Sevens He's talking about he just downloaded my little karaoke, and he's planning on having a little room party at BronyCon. Ooh, that sounds like fun. So you gonna try it out? You gonna play? I'll give it a shot. But uh, the real fun fact is my response to him. <laughs> what was your response? The picture off the send it to you. <laughs> oh, okay. I don't remember where I got this from, but it's funny. You know what they really need is like a pony DDR. Oh. And you know what they should do though? Instead of, you know, the DDR pad isn't across. Yeah. They should do it in a box shape <laughs> so it's like a pony. So basically it's uh, up, uh, up, left, up, right, down, left, down, right? Well, it'd be more like front hoof, front hoof. <laughs> oh, that's going to be chaos. Well, everyone's got to be down on their fours like. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then and then there'll be like the Discord shuffle or something, you know, whenever their horns and stuff disappear and they all panic. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, that, that could be fun. It worked. Yeah. That could be fun. I don't know, but I think they did a DDR okay. version of a game like that before. There's been a bunch of remakes of this and that. So yeah, the gaming community, they're awesome. And joining us right now would be Dan. Hi, Norman. So, you you came pretty close. Close to? Well, almost missing part two of the news section. Okay, but I'm here, so that's what matters. Indeed, so how was your day? I don't know, I can't describe it in one sentence, take whole episode to describe it. <laughs> Do that on your show, buddy. Do that on your show. Yep, that's why I podcast. Indeed. So anyway, you miss out on the My Little Karaoke. You need anything to add on to that? I just love My Little Karaoke. I used to play it myself. And then I had this. I have this competition I'm preparing for because my choir is going to Bali this week. So, yeah, I have got to tune down my repertoire to two songs first <laughs> before we can move on to get crazy. Okay. But I can't wait to play it. Dad, why don't you take the second one? Yes, please. Mm. So, MLP Comic is going to Europe thanks to Panini. Which sounds like an Italian dish, but never mind. European bronies, we have good news for you. The company Panini will be distributing the physical copy of the My Little Pony comic. Issue so 1 will be careful released. when you eat your sandwiches. Oh, yes. You don't know, suddenly it tastes papery. <laughs> and that's not the rapper. Chewing on premium IDW right there. <laughs> So issue one will be released on October 8th, 2013. European bronies can look forward to two variant covers of the first issue for 9.99 euros. Uh, 9 dollars, 9 euros, 99 cents or whatever you call it over there. If you are able to make it to Essen, we don't know where that is. You can just Google map it. Don't Apple Maps it, but you end up in the ocean. <laughs> for a comic action convention, you can get a version limited to 333 pieces for 20 euros a piece and an exclusive version 
for 49 euros a piece. Now, this version, there's only 55 pieces available. I don't know why these people like odd numbers, but heck, it's limited edition, so we're not complaining. So, of course, I know, Norman, you're an avid collector of comics. So, Stu, what about you? Do you like comics? I can't say that I go out and buy them every day, but I, don't think I, I got a this. free one from Five Iron. <laughs> oh. So, I read that one. It was cute. What was that? Well, what did you get? Uh, you got the cute one. The, the cutie mark crusaders getting kidnapped by Chrysalis. So. Oh, ah. book one. That's cool. That's return. Kind of like galaxy Papa. So, Norman, what about you? Would you be going to Essen, wherever this is? Um, it's in Germany, I think. I hope so. I hope I'm right. Oh, so for Das Convention. Indeed. Das Convention! Speak as a Deutsch! <laughs> I don't think so. I'll be going to Europe to get the Pony Comics. But I'm wondering, what exclusive cover would they get? Well, if you're listening to this and you're in Europe, just email the MBS show at gmail.com with a picture. Make us all jelly. Yep, we give you the permission to do that. Indeed, indeed. Oh, yeah. Anyway, moving on, moving on. Pony stuff at San Diego Comic Con. If you didn't know, last week was San Diego Comic Con 2013. Technically, it's happening now, but since we recorded Show will be posted on Tuesday and we will be timey wimey. So anyway, um, San Diego Comic Con 2013 and a lot of Pony stuff has popped up. Hasbro had some wonderful displays for their My Little Pony products for Dimension Entertainment also had a presence there and so did Wheel of Fine. Now we will list down what exclusive merc that you could have gotten if you were there. All of the jellies. It's our turn to make you jelly. Oh, including us. We're making ourselves jelly at the same time, but meh. Indeed. Basically, it just sucks to be us. Indeed. It sucks to be in Malaysia. (laughs) It sucks to not go there. But anyway, over at the Hasbro booth, you can get a DJ Pwn3 exclusive light-up figure for 54 bucks. A vinyl Scratch Comic Con 2013 exclusive t-shirt for 25 bucks. And a Friendship is Magic comic issue number 9 featuring Equestria Girls prequel story at the IDW booth. Also, a Blu-ray copy of Equestria Girls is being sold there too. So if you are there, you can get a sneak preview or advanced copy of your Blu-ray before anybody else gets to watch it. Or, if you're in Malaysia, it's just one week away. But if you're at Comic Con, you already got the Blu-ray, so yeah. But we are Malaysian, Starman. <laughs> Anyway... Um, I won't even be in town, that's the sad part. I know. Yeah, anyway, with every purchase of $100 or more at the Wheel of Fine booth, you are entitled to get a limited edition Derpy Hoof collectible vinyl figure for 20 bucks. Only 300 pieces of these figures are available. So if you are at San Diego Comic Con, please get me one. No. You heard Norman. And lastly, over at the Fourth Dimension Entertainment booth, they have the super special awesome show at Great Pony Plush on sale and display. Right now, they are only selling Twilight Sparkle Plush and displaying Pinkie Pie and Fluttershy. The Pinkie Pie Plush will be available late August, early September, and the Fluttershy, <laughs> the Fluttershy Plush... <laughs> I know, it's a tongue twister. And the Fluttershy Plush will be available sometime around fall. Links and pictures can be found in the show notes. So, Stu, you were asking if everything here is at the Hasbro booth? Well, I know the Derby vinyl. I was wondering about the plushies. No, oh, the plushies are at the Foot and Dimension Entertainment booth. Um, they're displaying that and other things like their comics. It's their... Okay. I was going to say their mains look too accurate for a Hasbro to sell. Yeah, that's true. Yep, yep. It's not has well. It's Hasbro licensed, but not Hasbro made. Well, we have some good news: is that these things don't appear to be limited, so they're not like the three hundred comics or two hundred twenty-seven point five um, derby figures available. So, I think these will be around for quite a while. If they're if you're there at Comic Con, or if you were at Comic Con by the time you're hearing this, you know, you still probably have a chance to get one. <laughs> Well, technically, they're for pre-sale right now at Fort Dimension Entertainment's website. So if you go there fast, you can order some right now. Basically, if you're rich, you can do whatever the frick you want. Indeed. Yes, sir! 
Anyway, let's move on to the next topic. And the next topic is guest time. And in today's guest time, we have Stu. Stu is an aspiring voice actor. He is a DeviantArt artist. And he is one of the members of The Blunderbolt on YouTube. How are you, Stu? Having fun? Maybe. Maybe. Oh. We're not doing our job right. Dan, it's all your fault. Oh, right. <laughs> Blame me. Well, I'm the scapegoat of the show, so yeah. Hashtag blame Dan. <laughs> anyway, um, Stu, why don't you introduce yourself to the people who might not know who you are or what you do? Uh, I'm a loser nobody with an alicorn OC, which everybody hates. So hey, I can so sympathize. Good. I have an alicorn OC as well. Oh, oh yeah, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. Hmm. Yeah, Stu, what else? <laughs> what else? You, that's not only that, right? You have more, right? Really now? You don't want to mention Blunderbolts or anything like that? I thought you already mentioned Blunderbolts. Yeah, I know. You, you know, like, pimp them out, talk about them even more, explain yourself. Uh, I, haven't, I haven't worked with them for a while. I've been too busy with real life. That happens sometimes. Yeah, we know. Uh, Blunderbolts, we, some of us will be at BronyCon. Awesome, and awesome. Including myself. I should be there on the panel and <laughs> doing a little skit for everyone's hilarity, hopefully. Don't know what voices I'll be doing yet. Oh, cool, cool. So um, it's it's impressions of other voices doing you know blind. It's basically blind readings of uh, my little pony scripts. So basically, that one concept from uh, EQLE then. I suppose. I don't know. Anyway, um, let's move to the Q and A section. Get out much? Oh, it's cool. It's cool. We all don't get out much too. It's the summer. It's hot. And Steam has Summer all year round in Malaysia, dude. What are you talking about? I'm trying to lead up to Steam Summer Sale. You then spoil mine. Hush. Yeah, you're the one who wrote me into the summer sale, got me to spend money on games that I hardly play. <laughs> but anyway, so Stu, I see here that you're an artist on DeviantArt also. So how did you guys start with drawing? Uh, I was just naturally born that way. You know, it was just so fabulous. I just start drawing and drawing. Oh, I just start freezing it. And, oh. Sounds like you had fun doing that. Sometimes. The hard thing with drawing is I gotta be in the mood to do it for me. So it's not really like a passion. That's why I'm only a hobby artist. I don't do like the amazing stuff like some of these other pony artists do. So that's why I'm not famous in that. Oh, come on. Don't beat yourself down like that. You're too oh, good art. Suck it, fuck. I, I do like great art. Voices, and I can't do curly enough ones to be a My Little Pony voice actor. Oh, I know the feeling. But oh, not... okay, okay. Let me let me tell you this. Whenever you think you suck at something, remember that I exist. I suck at everything. <laughs> <laughs> remember, you got this little kid here who can do only one thing better than you, and that suck at things. Uh, you're an acquirer. I'm not. Uber. Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> You win. <laughs> but uh, I, I'm looking through your deviant art, and you do great art. It can always be better. Yeah, it's true. Like my go, art, it always could be better. Deviant art, if you want to feel good. Oh, <laughs> uh, if I look around deviant art, I'm gonna see fetishes and people trying to post porn still. And that, yeah. But uh, I'm looking through your art right now, and it's pretty awesome. So I was wondering, what kind of application do you use to draw? Uh, I use Photoshop CS5. Mm. right now I can't afford an upgrade. CS5 is good enough. Yeah, I got the uh, Master Collection right before I left college, so I got a good deal on it. So I have, like, pretty much almost all the Adobe programs. Yeah, but still, the CS5 is good enough, and you got the Master Collection, so that is really awesome. Yeah, you have it here. Yeah, basically, I have everything that I don't know how to use. (laughs) Same here, bro. I know how to use all of them, I don't have them. (laughs) (laughs) Yo, ho. But anyway, so do you use a tablet? Because your lines are really smooth, so I'm guessing you use a tablet here. Yes, I do, but I mean, to get your lines really smooth, the best thing to do is to use the pen tool, really. So it gives you a That's what control. everyone says. Except Pixel Kitties. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> wow. It's like, uh, so do you use a tablet? No, I use the pen tool. But you know, those lines are really cool. No, I use the pen tool. <laughs> I'm like... Where this pen tool must be made by the hands of God. How the heck does it work? Well, basically, the pen tool is only like vectors. It's the same thing, really. 
Yeah, I've tried it, and then I keep getting loop the loops and stuff like that. Yeah, you have to learn how to um, control them because there's different functions to get like straight lines or make a sharp point or you know the only do a half loop or an anchor point, whatever. I don't know the terms exactly, but you just don't have to use. I started them. out by doing vectors, and then I said, "Screw this! I'd rather go back to hand drawing." So basically, when you do hand drawing, it's basically you're using a pen tool and just drawing it like what you do on paper. Mm, no, I, I actually don't use the pen tool when I do my hand drawings. Oh, so. um, my and like my current ones, what I do is I sketch them out first, and I like the black outlines for some reason. So I just do quick strokes until I get it right. And I've seen other artists do that, and I just adopted that method. Oh. So, like, I'll do a quick stroke over the, you know, a different layer until I get a line that looks good, and then I'll usually erase whatever needs to be touched up or whatnot. So, it's like this, um, I'm looking here, your Rarity Cap Outfit Quick Sketch, so you do something like that? Yeah, that's how it started off. Ah, because... And then I would uh, outline it, oh. and then color it. Honestly speaking, um, if I were to vector this with my um, art style, I could do something with it. <laughs> Duh. I'm just saying. I mean, it's already it's already outlined and everything. Just color and whatever. Yeah, I trace back. Well, but that's me and my art style. But who's talking about me? I'm not the guest. You're the guest. So besides doing art, I see here you do a lot of photograph. So any kind of camera do you use? I use a Nikon D5000. Ooh. But I only have one good lens, so feel free to donate for me to get an even nicer lens, and I'll take nicer pictures. So you mentioned that um, you um, recent, not recently, but you went out of college. You get the CS program thingy for cheap. So that was I, long ago. Yeah, I hope you don't mind me asking, but um, so, what did you take in college? Oh, uh, just some computer stuff. So you didn't take art or something like that? No, no. I took information sciences and technology. Ah, okay. So basically, code monkey person then? Basically a system developer, which I never got to do. Oh, cool. So I'm still unemployed and jobless. Yay, same difference. Oh, uh, I don't know. Maybe, uh, here's the thing about code monkeys versus art monkeys. Art monkeys, they can, well, survive just by drawing and people will just like what they do and basically say, Hey, I like what you do. Uh, could uh-huh. you draw something for me? But with, yeah. but with code monkeys, they're hard. <laughs> but anyway, Dan, you got anything? Um, actually, yes, I do. The thing about voice actors is I'm always really very curious to ask this. When did you discover your passion to, you know, start doing different voices? See, voice acting is really about acting more than just doing different voices. So, I mean, you can be a voice actor and only have one voice, technically. I mean, there, there's impressionists and voice acting, which sometimes correlate with each other. Because when you're doing um, impressions, all you're doing is copying other people's voices. But, I mean, everyone has their own voices in them. And so they can master them and use them for different roles, give them different emotions or styles or feelings. So it's really more about the acting than just doing voices. I actually did some training with um, Dino Andrade. He's done like a lot of games, primarily. The one he's probably well known for is uh, Arkham Asylum because he did the Scarecrow. Oh. oh okay. <laughs> That's where everyone goes. Oh yeah. yeah. Now you know it's that sketch of his face starts to have a voice to it. The last time I talked to him, he's going to be teaching at a school for acting or something like that out in LA. So that's probably my biggest problem with trying to be a voice actor is I don't live near L.A. Of course, that's the only reason I'd ever want to live in California. So, Stu, mind doing some voice acting for us? Like, read a script or something? Like, I think I got one <laughs> you here. Have a script? Do you want a script? I have one here. I have one here. Okay, fine. Read the first three um, tweets from that. Don't choose Black Griffin. Yeah, why not? He's cool. This guy never talks to me. Eh, he's busy. Yeah. It's too popular. That's it's too popular much. people don't talk to me. Once people get popular, then they're like, I'm not talking to you anymore. No, I'm not popular. <laughs> I'm not, not popular. Yet. But he still worry. talks to you, it looks like. <laughs> that that's it. Push, push, uh. But okay, so basically, um, when you do blind readings, it's basically um, you read a script in 
um, in a certain voice, right? Um, blind readings is that you don't get to study the script. You're just reading it right then and there. Oh. So, like, with regular, with real voice acting, you have a chance to prep up, you know, like, they they probably even meet with the writers, I'm assuming, because I'm not a professional voice actor, sadly. You know, they have time to read the scripts, go over the motions and whatever, and make notes on it for themselves. So that way they know what they're doing. Blind reading, you're just reading it straight up there. So it's, like, know, an, it's like an extreme opposite of method acting? It, it's like... You go to school and you're about to go do an exam and you have no idea what the questions are, but you've studied for it and you just know something's coming. And then you start scribbling on the paper. But for blind reading, it's like you haven't studied, you don't know what's going on, you just go there. No, and you have studied, it's just you just don't know what's going to be on the test. Ah, okay, cool. So, um, basically, you have your script in front of you. So, I, if I remember right, we we just give you a character and you do it? Or you can give me a personality or emotion you want me to put onto it. Okay, so the first one. Why don't you do it in Strong Bad's voice? Let's see here. <clears throat> Dude, that's like telling me we have to breathe today. <clears throat> Can't wait to meet you, man. Wow, you do a damn good Strong Bad impression. So... Let's try this voice here. Oh, good chance I'll be flying to Bradycon from Australia and I owe you a hug. Oh. If you're going and I don't like hugs, I'd reconsider. What's that from? Oh, nothing. It's just one of my original voices. Ah, I see. Of course, I think it sounds like Pops from regular show a little bit there. Nope, don't know who that is. Sorry. Yeah, well, that's because they're not in America. <laughs> exactly. Ooh. Land of the cocky SOPs. <laughs> oh, yeah, when yeah. I grow up, I want to be a cocky SOP, too. <laughs> Be an American. <laughs> Freedom. Bill Bill putting on this. Next oh boy. Oh yeah. I did not have sexual relationships with that country. <laughs> <laughs> I did not have sexual relationships in Japan to the Seattle, which would be easier. Australia to Baltimore. Well, Monica is an entirely different story. But <laughs> 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 well, well, why are you not doing any work for voice acting? Nobody wants to hire me. Do you do good? Actually, do keep in touch us this call. I've got uh, something to talk to you about. Since you know, right, right, right. Well, you see, since I'm not like a female voice actor, like, <laughs> you know, especially since um, I like the MLP fandom, you know, it's not like there's a lot of high demand here that or I'm just not on the right websites or something. True, but have you ever thought about doing um, fanfic reading? Mm, I tend to avoid fanfics, but... But, I mean, like, you know, because I don't want to read, like, Cupcakes or Rainbow Factory or any of those kinds of things. Hmm, understandable. Yeah, no, 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 yeah. And most of the time it's like, Oh, and I love you, but I'm in love with him. <laughs> oh, my penis is 20 sizes larger and then I died. <laughs> Wow. Amazing plot, gentlemen. <laughs> that was the last fan thing I read. <laughs> <laughs> no, you read it and then I think a spam email came in the way. And then... Then says, you scroll down and see it's a Viagra ad. Oh, oh, no, oh. No, 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 no. close. The, the one I saw was a Nigerian prince asking for help. <laughs> oh, no, actually, Pinkie Pie received that email. Oh. That's a valid fanfic. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> no, but seriously, um, do fanfic readings because I think not many people are doing that in the fandom right now. There's a reason. Yeah, no, it's not that. Um, I remember back in the days when Mike the Microphone was doing back it. Back in the day! Yeah. I, uh, children! <laughs> yeah, year one. Um, if I remember right, um, a lot of... Well, Mike was doing it. There was this guy who was also doing it. And, well, not much are doing it anymore right now. So, if it's possible, um, do do that. Because I think there's a market for that. And at the same you, time... You think that's good to read and I'll consider it okay um, why don't you try sunny skies all because day I long I don't read fanfics I'll let you do the reading <laughs> I don't want to go through that process oh don't oh. torture me oh well, well maybe we should try something at BronyCon then but anyway you're going to BronyCon right yeah so that's you're fun. joining with the Blunderbox yeah yeah I'm, so, I'm hoping on uh, if I'm lucky enough Maybe Brony Time will let me be on their panel. I don't know. Possibly you'll be with them. Well, I haven't been on Brony Time for a while either. I, I 
basically have the guilt trip five iron to let me on. Like, five iron, you don't love me. Oh, you want to come on a show? Okay. <laughs> do it, Philly. Force him. Guilt trip him. I would do that if I was there. Five iron, how could you? I thought we were bros, man. <laughs> But no, um, honestly speaking, I'm thinking about ex- uh, expressions. Um, who could you do? What expressions do you do best? You mean impressions? Yes, thank you. Impressions. <laughs> expressions, I can smile. I can, smile. <laughs> I can feel happy. Switch on that webcam. <laughs> no, no, but seriously, impressions. Who could you do? Let's take a look at my list here. I got Stitch, Gollum, some Gooey Mom. I want to hear Stitch. Stitch, Stitch, Stitch. You want to hear Stitch? I grew up loving Stitch. Oh gosh, they're so adorable. It's <laughs> <laughs> fairly similar to Stitch. They call it bubble voices. Ganondorf. <laughs> <laughs> you shall not pass. You shall not pass. You shall sit down and take a pee. No, but who else could you do? Like you said, um, I'm reading out my current list. I mean this. From Blunderbolts. Any of the male ponies in the show, like um, Ace or Shining Armor? Personally, uh, when I first heard Shining Armor, I was like, sounds like a surfer guy. Oh, yeah. It's like, Twily, yo, radical. (laughs) Yeah, that's true. Surf's up, (laughs) Twilight. Yeah, but that's why he's portrayed as a surfer dude in Friendship with Witchcraft. Mm, That explains it. I I never watched it. You mean as Francis Sparkle? (laughs) Yep. See, I got a Squidward, Patrick, Spongebob, Ice King, Salt Snake, Mo from Three Stooges. Let's wait till King Sombra opens his mouth if he ever does in some future he episode did. of a flashback. Uh, 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 he say some uh, uh, English. He did. What did he say that's in English? Pony? Oh, crystals? Yeah, crew, correct. No, but seriously, uh, could you try and do... Well, you said um, Pat- Patrick... Well, Spongebob. I want to hear Spongebob. Patrick! Patrick! Squidward! Where's Patrick? Shut up, Spongebob. Leave me alone for crying out. Hey, Spongebob. Right here. Oh, Patrick. Let's go jellyfishing. Nah! Nah! Oh, the love is... You got the love down. Nostalgia. I haven't haven't practiced them in a while. Can you do Goofy? Goofy. You know what? I I think you can have a new project. That's to uh, get five bucks to just record a ringtone. Yeah, that will be awesome, you know. People do that so much now. Because if you make it personalized, like if you say, you, you select a character, like Spike the Dragon asking Norman to answer his phone. I don't know if I can hit Spike because, you know, I mean, that's a woman doing it. Yeah, true, that is true. Is that my vocal range? But still, where can they find you? Like, your personal stuff? Like, any of your personal projects? The only stuff I really have online right now is my art, and um, some millennia I'll answer more Tumblr <laughs> questions. I haven't touched that in a while. So anyway, um, you basically have only have a Tumblr and DeviantArt and working with the Bumble... Blunderbolts, right? And I have a Twitter and Tumblr and DeviantArt. And I just need to... Well, once I get some voiceover stuff done or whatever, then I can put it on a YouTube page. Ah. You should probably try doing a demo because from what I heard from the big um, VAs, if you want to get in, you should probably try a demo and just publish it out to everyone or every yeah. agent. Oh, the, the problem is is figuring out what to put on the demo. That's the trouble. Have you ever tried going to just um random person's website, like a random voice um, actor's website and just listen to what they do? Sometimes and then I get bored. Oh, <laughs> but no, yeah, it's probably actually the best thing to do. Mm, probably. Well, anyway, well, if we don't have any questions, I think we should move on. Dan? Okay. Um, well, I was, I was thinking off at the moment right there because I'm like... I'm on drugs! <laughs> yeah, I am actually. I'm on antibiotics. I had an eye infection this week. Ooh. Who knew that your eyes had oil glands? <laughs> Who have you been picking, Dan? Who have you been spying on? Nobody. I've been busy all week. Next thing I wake up, my eyes have been swollen like I just got punched in the face. And... <laughs> Thank you, God. <laughs> no, no, no. Thank you, Obama. Well, I know Jesus Punching hates me. Punching Malaysians in the face. <laughs> now, I know 
Jesus hates I'm wrestling. I'm Rockabar. But... I will continue to punch Malaysians in the face. <laughs> yeah. I'm not racist. <laughs> Welcome, punch. Oh, boy. Obama, punch. <laughs> oh. Barack. Barack. Okay. I will throw my Pokemon at you. <laughs> oh, boy. I gotta catch them all. <laughs> All the Republicans and Pokeballs. <laughs> they oppose my socialistic ways. Where were you when Bronie Time was talking about politics? Obviously, wait, 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 wait. did Bronie Time talk about politics? Oh, uh, trust me, it was when I was on. NBA show, NBA show needs a Malaysian politics session. No! Anyway. I'll be in jail! <laughs> Indeed. So, anyway, if then you don't have any questions, uh, we should move on. So, that was our guest, uh, Stu. And thanks for coming on, Stu. Oh, you're grumpy. Don't worry. Ooh, you're playing Frankenstein. No, that's not Frankenstein. Aw. No, but um, where can people find you? Where can people find you? Like, um... The any... internet. Just, uh, key... Excellent answer. Just key in <laughs> Stu, the, um, Stu. Q I zero 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 one. And you're gonna do an internet. No, I'm internet. Well, I'll just link everything you have on the show notes. Yep. There's Twitter. There's DeviantArt. There's stuff. Yay. There's Catzilla. Your show. Brony time. Sometimes yeah. there used to be Alcorn Radio. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes. I, yeah, I remember Alcorn like Radio. Oh yeah, good times. Good yeah. times. Good times. By the way, congrats, time. Ethan, on that Firefox skin of yours. What? <laughs> yeah, Alicorn Radio has a new Firefox skin. Oh. I'd like oh. to see um, Delta Pow scream at you on the on your Firefox browser every time you turn it on. Yeah, go download it. Okay, ah. okay, okay then. <laughs> oh, God, I need you to do... Oh, God, I need you to do a ringtone with strong bell. Oh, God, that was awesome. Anyway, I link everything you have on your show notes, and I hope people bug you to do ringtone messages for them. <sighs> and question for week three: On what episode did MLP Facts of the Week started, and when was the last one recorded? I hope you've been paying attention because this is an easy one. And moving on to the next topic, and the next topic is shoutouts. My shoutout goes to you, Stu. Thanks for being on. <gasps> Ah, serious. No matter how chaotic it is, you've been a trooper. And Dan, what about you? I've got a lot of them coming. First of all, to James Cork. Thank you so much for that beautiful, beautiful piece of art you put up last week. Really enjoyed it. It's the first time someone other than my official artist, yes, shout out to you, Afik as well, has drawn my OC, so thanks a lot for that. Oh, yeah, yeah, your OC. You got a problem with my OC? Yes. What's wrong with it? Elecorn. Okay, fine. <laughs> At least you're not questioning the girly part like others, you know. Girly part that I can close a blind eye, but Alicorn. Oh, I, I remember Bamboo. Yeah, Bamboo was like, oh, Tasha looks good. I'm like, was Tasha in that episode, my good friend? <laughs> and of course, uh, another shout out to Naturally Vocal, my choir. We're going down to Bali. Anyone still listening to this? Good luck. We all can do it. Yes. Okay, okay. enough of my shots. All right. Um, and last but not least, shout out goes to the Amazon Web Services panel that was in Singapore. I went down for the Amazon Web Services conference this week. It was amazing. It was really enlightening and hope to see you all again. Awesome. Cool. What about you, Stu? Got any shout outs to give out to? Uh, to my wife, who is currently napping in the same room through this whole entire ordeal. Oh, that's so cute. And to the hamster, who is also sleeping during this whole ordeal. Okay, that's even cuter. <laughs> um, the ceiling for keeping stuff from falling on my head. Okay, now you're Praise adjusting. the Lord for the ceiling. So if you have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at the show at gmail.com. And if you would like to email us personally, you can reach me at norman at com and daniel at com. You can reach me on Twitter. Well, us on Twitter, but technically... I'm derping. So anyway, you can reach the show's Twitter page at the MBS Show. That's where you get update on sh- current show stuff, like what's going on, editing and stuff. 
you can reach me at Norman Sanzo. And, well, basically I post food, talk about stuff. Well, that's me. Food, basically, and toys. And what about you, Dan? If you don't like pictures of food but you like perky pessimism, yeah, you can follow me at St. Pinky, S-T-P-I-N-K-I-E. Awesome. And Stu, do you have a Twitter page or account? Oh, yes, I do have a Twitter. And where can people find you? At S-T-E-W-I-0-0-0-1. What is up with the name? Don't worry about it. Okie dokie dokie then. And also, please subscribe and rate us on iTunes and Stitcher Radio. And also, like us on Facebook. Uh, links will be provided in the show notes. Yeah. So, uh, I have been Norman Sanzo. I've been Daniel Anthony. And I've been me, Stu, whatever. Yeah, that's about it. Number yes. one! <laughs> Indeed. And um, we'll see you guys next week. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. A heavy cloud is tracing
look at the show notes. Looking at them. We passed through my little karaoke. Um, we did his four basic questions. Now we're going into uh, Comic Con. Uh, yeah, number two. Um, my comic, little boy, comic, comic. Yeah, that one. Comic, comic, yeah. Huh? Man, I oh, love my little karaoke. I used to play this. They have a new incarnation of it, and it's yep. pretty awesome. Yeah. I heard My Little Pony like, comic, comic, comic too. What? Comic, comic? Uh, comic con, comic, comic, comic con. No, it's not comic con. It's um. Ah, it's a tongue twister. I'm trying to think. What the hey did I write? <laughs> it's a convention in Europe. I know that. Okay, done. So okay, I'm going to restart in. Ah, uh-huh, that makes sense. Yeah, I know.